Hey, travel buddies. Welcome back to Travel Pug, your guide and forever travel buddy. When you think of a trip to Mexico, you might first picture hitting up the crazy beaches of Cancun, or maybe you've seen pictures of the enormous cultural hub that is Mexico City. But for those looking for a more elegant Mexican vacation, Cabo San Lucas is the ideal spot. A list of the best things to do in Cabo San Lucas is full of fun and sun, great dining, and so much more. So stick around as Travel Pug presents the best things to do in Cabo San Lucas. Cabo San Lucas is actually part of a larger area called Los Cabos. The other half of it is the resort area known as San Jose del Cabo. Together, they sit at the tip of the famous Baja Peninsula, where the Sea of Cortez meets the Pacific Ocean. People often refer to the whole area simply as Cabo. So we'll use that designation in this video. This part of the world represents the ultimate in luxurious travel, and visitors will find that a Mexican paradise awaits them. There are things ranging from top-notch resorts to whale watching to seafood that is fresh from the ocean. It's a place where celebrities go to get away from their everyday lives and where other people go to be treated like celebrities. Land's End El Arco. First on our list is Land's End El Arco. Over time, the powerful winds and seas of the Baja Peninsula shape Land's End into its present form. Positioned between Playa del Amor and Playa del Divorcio, the first thing you may notice upon arriving is how ideal the setting is for an Instagram photo. It is not only beautiful to look at, but it is also a very isolated and passionate location in a very passionate region. You will have to take a boat tour or a water taxi from the nearby marina to get offshore to it, as neither walking nor driving will get you there. However, the seclusion and breathtaking scenery are well worth the trip. It is not uncommon to see sea lions in the area, and their presence will only add to the romance of watching the sunset with your special someone. Keep in mind, however, that the Pacific Ocean side of the surrounding waters can be particularly rough. If you want to stay safe, you probably should not go swimming on that side of the island. Whale Watching Tour Join a whale watching tour. If you have never had the pleasure of seeing a humpback whale in person, you owe it to yourself to take a whale watching tour while in Cabo San Lucas. These magnificent animals are especially common in the Sea of Cortez due to their favorable conditions for breeding and migration. And there is no shortage of tours that will take you behind the scenes to show you how they operate. The whale watching season runs from December to April, with November being the peak month. In January through March, you get a much better chance of seeing baby whales as well. Whale Watch Cabo is a well-known company that offers whale watching tours. You can rest easy knowing that marine biologists are leading the tour. They also have a cool feature where they drop a microphone into the water so you can hear whales making their unique sounds. The average duration of a tour is between two and three hours. If you get seasick easily, going early in the day when there are fewer boats on the water and calmer seas is your best bet. However, if you want to see the most whales, you should go in the afternoon. Before we tell you more about the best things to do in Cabo San Lucas, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to Travel Pug if you haven't already. Iglesia de San Lucas. It is probably a good idea to spend some time in the shade or indoors while visiting Cabo and visiting Iglesia de San Lucas is a great way to do just that. Its construction began in 1730 when a Spanish missionary built it. It has remained the primary Catholic church in Cabo San Lucas ever since. And despite being renovated over the years, it retains the original building's look and charm. It is an excellent way to learn about the town and surrounding area in the 18th and 19th centuries. On Saturdays and Sundays, the church hosts a mass including two bilingual masses for those who do not speak Spanish. This neighborhood, however, is not limited to its religious landmarks. A small plaza was constructed around the church, specifically for visitors. There is a beautiful gazebo there, in addition to numerous places to eat and shop. It takes about 15 minutes to walk from the marina to the church and the shops in the area. Play golf. Golfing is up next. Cabo has attracted golfers from all over the world who want to experience the region's world-class facilities and breathtaking scenery. 
and we can't blame them. Some of the best golfing in the country, if not the continent, can be found in and around Cabo San Lucas, Club Campestry San Jose, and Palmilla Golf Club are two of the most well-liked courses in San Jose del Cabo. They are both excellent courses, and it is not uncommon to find yourself in a foursome behind a professional golfer. Both feature stunning scenery in the background and a wide range of playable terrain. One or two of the best courses in the world can be found in Cabo San Lucas. The three most well-known are the El Dorado Golf Course in Cabo San Lucas, the Diamante Cabo San Lucas, and the Cabo del Sol Desert Course, and Ocean Course. These three courses offer golfers in Mexico the chance to enjoy the country's immaculate fairways, numerous water hazards, and breathtaking scenery. Instead of staring aimlessly into space, try to focus on the game at hand, Madano Beach. Have fun in the sun. Madano Beach in Cabo San Lucas is the place to go. Relax in the sun and admire the stunning blueness of the water. There are plenty of bars, restaurants. It is the kind of place where you can spend days at a time just chilling out and eating and drinking to your heart's content. It is convenient because it is close to the center of Cabo, south of the downtown area, and costs nothing to visit. However, the beach also provides excellent opportunities for physical activity. You can play a game of beach volleyball with friends or start your own. And this is the spot to be. Parasailing, kayaking, and jet skiing are just some of the water sports available. And if you want to see Land's End, there are snorkeling tours and boat tours departing from Madano Beach. That will take you there. Kayak and paddleboard rentals cost about $27 per hour. Despite its popularity, the beach and its waters have managed to remain remarkably pristine. The only potential downside is that some locals may try to sell you their wares as a tourist. But other than that, it is a fantastic day trip destination. Splurge on tacos. Eat a lot of tacos. Indulging in some delicious regional specialties is a must for any tourist visiting Mexico. In addition, Tacos do not get much fresher than these, especially if you are craving fish tacos. You do not have to look very far to find them, because they are available at the vast majority of local eateries. Your taste buds will thank you for taking them on this vacation. We love the tacos at Las Guacamayas, and we think you will too, for the low price. If you are looking for great guacamole though, Omega Sports Bar is a close second, and with any San Jose. Lastly, San Jose del Cabo is one of the two cities that make up Cabo. It is known as Old Town because it is a bit more laid back and tranquil than bustling Cabo San Lucas. Amazing resorts can be found there, and yet the area still feels authentically Mexican. Plaza Mijeres is the town square, and to do some grocery shopping and restaurant dining, naturally, Playa Palmilla and Playa Santa Maria are two of the best beaches in the area. You can enjoy the clear water. To get to San Jose del Cabo from the airport, you will need to take a taxi for about 20 minutes unless you have rented a car. You can take a bus and they do exist, but they are not exactly dependable. And there you have it, the top things to do in Cabo San Lucas. It is your turn to share your thoughts now. Do any of your top recommendations for things to do in Cabo not appear here? Please share your thoughts in the comments below. Do not forget to hit that like button and add Travel Pug to your subscriptions. If you have not already, click the bell icon 